Hey, what is going on guys? It is Big Ziff here, and I just want to make a quick video today on why I think you should not summon on Zhao's weapon banner, uh, especially as a free-to-play player. So, I just want to go right out and say that summoning on this banner is actually terrible for free-to-play players. You're never guaranteed the weapon you want unless you're fine with getting either of the weapons. So let's break down the numbers just so you can see how difficult it really is. So in every dedicated weapon banner, there is a 75% chance of getting one of the five star drops. Then on top of that, there's gonna be a 50-50 chance that you get the one that you actually want, unless you're fine with either of them. So if we do that math really quick, that would be a 0 0.75 times 0.5% chance which equals 0.375, or a 37.5% chance I would get, for example, the Amo spell. And this is because this is not a 100% guarantee of getting either of these. Otherwise, it would be a 50-50, it would be a 50% chance of getting either weapon. But because this is 75% chance, there's a 25% chance that you actually get one of the other five-star weapons that aren't the rate-ups, any of these weapons. So on top of this, if you do end up pulling one of these off banner weapons, then you'll be guaranteed either Almost Bow or Skyward Pride on your next pull. But if you only want Almost Bow, then it's still going to be a 50-50 chance. And that's the problem with these weapon banners is there's no guarantee even if you hit pity the second time around. So these rates are just nowhere as good as like a character banner where you are guaranteed to get one raid up character you want and then you're it's followed by a 50 50 chance um, on the next one or vice versa so let's say for example on the last banner i got a limited character so it would be albedo in this case then my next 90 wishes i wouldn't be guaranteed to get the character it would be a 50 50 chance however if i wished on the last banner and i didn't get albedo and i got a different five star then on this banner i would be guaranteed to get ganyu that's the main difference between the weapon banner and the character banner is that even if you don't get the first five star on the character banner the next five star you can get a guaranteed character no matter what so if I had wished on this banner and I didn't get Ganyu, and then in the future they had Hu Tao, who I saved up all my Primo Gems for, I would be guaranteed to get her no matter what. And the reason I'm talking about all this is because there were several people in my comments recently who are wondering why they haven't gotten a 5-star character yet, and then they told me that they've just pulled like a 5-star weapon recently on this limited weapon banner. And I just want to caution you guys that if you don't already know, the pities carry over between both of these banners, between the character event wish banner and the weapon event wish banner. You can see that they both require intertwined fates down here. That is essentially telling you that the pity between the two is the same. So if I wished 50 times on the weapon banner and then I wished 40 times on the character banner, then I would be guaranteed to get a five star character. So it's not 90 here and 90 here, they're interchangeable between one another. And I also want to remind you that you can still get five star weapons from this standard banner, which you'll gain the acquaint fates for just by playing the game and ascending characters. So if I go to my inventory, you'll see that I actually have the Skyward Pride. And what's funny about this is I literally pulled this from the from my standard uh, banner here with my wishes I got from ascending characters. So if I go to my history, you'll see Skyward Pride right here. And that is literally the rate up one of the rate up weapons right now. So that's just going to show you that you can get it from this banner as well, but you can also get a character from this one. So I would not, I would highly recommend not wishing on the weapon banners because it's just not worth the RNG right now. It's it's really not for free to play players. You want to conserve your primos and try to get a guaranteed character as often as you can. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to leave a like or consider subscribing. And other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one.